How's it going, everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. It's your workout Wednesdays. You already know what we're going to do. We're going to work out. Yep, pretty much comes right down to it. Uh, have a healthy body, have a healthy mind, guys. And I know you sometimes you don't feel like you have the energy to get in the gym and do what you got to do, but uh, the fact of the matter is if you get in that gym, the next day you're going to have more energy. You're going to have that higher vitality. You're going to be at that higher vibrancy so get in the gym and train your body so you have that extra energy so you can pursue the things that are meaningful to you in your life uh, and so with that said let's uh, let's go into today's workout you guys all know I am not a big fan of 15 minute 10 minute fixes uh, I'm not a fan of eight minute abs I'm not a fan of you know crash diet any quick fixes I don't believe in them at all but I was doing a little bit of research and Tabata, Tabata, it's called Tabata workout. So basically short intervals of work at a high intensity, short intervals of rest uh, for a lesser time than the work and keep doing those cycles through. Supposedly, you can get a great workout in seven minutes. So that's what we got planned for you today. This is my first, very first time doing Tabata. So. Uh, I've done a lot of metabolic training, which sounds similar in concept, but uh, usually lasts a lot longer, full body workout. This is supposed to uh, get you going in seven minutes with just a couple of movements. So what we're going to do today, we've got five rounds, count five, five rounds of 25 seconds of work. We're going to be doing deadlifts, 10 seconds of rest. Then when we switch to, we're going to have a 30 second break to switch to the second cycle. And then we're going to go right into handstand push-ups and handstand holds. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do handstand push-ups the entire time. So we're going to have to substitute it with something. And we're just going to get that full extension through the body and create that nice straight line, pushing through, actively pushing through our hands. And uh, on those rest breaks, throw the ball for the dog. You guys know how it goes. But uh like I said, I'm not a big fan of this uh, idea of a quick fix, but I want to try it. And the studies have shown that this works, guys. They say seven to eight minutes, you can get the same effective workout as uh, 20, 30 minutes. But I really think it's the mentality of what happens when you do such short intervals of work at a time. You give all your effort. You put so much intensity into it because you know that it's short. So it's really, I feel like, a more of a mentality thing. You can give any, if you give 100% effort to anything as far as a workout goes, it's going to be challenging in the first three or four minutes. I mean, your energy cycles for your first energy cycle is only about a minute long. That's about the most people can sustain when you're doing constant push ups. Usually, about a minute through, you start to feel that pain when you're going to have to start resting at the top, maybe push through um, two minutes at the max, and then, you know, it goes on further between to that, uh, you know, that uh, like three minute to like 30 minute range where you have that uh, moderately high intensity and then obviously you have your longer sustained energy uh, periods or levels where you know you're running marathons or uh, you know swimming or you know anything long distance that requires a, a heightened sustained pace so with that said also I you know it's I feel like it's all about your effort guys but uh that's enough of me uh, drawing conclusions on something I haven't done yet. So let's uh, let's get right into it. I got uh, I downloaded a to uh, Tabata timer right from the App Store. If you guys want to try and get into it, uh, it's quick. It's easy to set up. You can pretty much customize it any little which way you want, and you know that's always a plus. Uh, I got it hooked up through my radio, so that way. I can hear it when uh, the timers are going off and I've got a different sound for the recovery bell and for the um, starting bell. So makes it a little easier, don't have to look at it which is nice and uh, you can keep just flowing right through it. Alright so 6 minutes 20 seconds on the clock, uh, 5 rounds of deadlifts, 5 rounds of handstand push-ups and handstand uh, static holds. 30 seconds in between sets. Let's get it going, guys. Boom. Always keep your form. Straight back. One eighty-five. 
not exactly super busy, but something sustainable for the amount of time. There it is. Ugh. Period. Oh no, that's my work period. I missed my rest period. Go figure. Keep working through. Oh. Oh. There it is. Rest for 10 seconds. Yep, I can tell this is going to be all right. Rest for 10. Throw the ball. Ball for the dog. Three seconds. Work. Last one, guys. Cycle complete. There we go. Now we're right into these handstand push-ups. Got 30 seconds to take a break. You can strip down if it's getting warm. Oh, get yourself a drink of water. Be careful when you're doing your handstands. Always, uh, always make sure if you're not experienced to do them against the wall. Like I'm gonna do right now. do something that you can sustain for the full amount of time guys make sure that that's important Just hold it, guys. Oh, trust me, it'll burn. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yeah, this is getting pretty tough.
Wow. Wow. Here we go. some insight on this workout complete there it is all right so that was quick that was really quick that's like never i've never done a workout that's like that quick and uh so my opinions on that are it's great if you've got exercises like you know something that you want to get stronger at and you maybe hit a plateau i think this would be great for that um I would do all the cycles. Personally, I would do 10 cycles at that with just deadlifts or something like that. You're really working that upper threshold of your lactic acid buildup, but you have to make sure you pick certain exercises that are gonna be challenging to you from the start period to the end period. So high building central nervous systems, uh, workouts, deadlifts, handstands, human flags, anything that really makes you fully contract your entire body. Um, you know, uh, upright rows, those are another good ones. Uh, I think even um, around the world with some plates, since that's uh, such a compound movement, I think that'd be really great for that uh, short amount of interval time. But um, for building uh, certain movements, I feel like that would be really beneficial. I actually might start adding that into my workouts to start and to finish the workouts. But uh, there's a certain energy level that uh, I feel like you don't get. It's not, maybe if you had made it longer, 14, maybe 15 minutes, but that's not the myth we were trying to break. I can understand in 15 minutes how your effort level would have to uh, increase dramatically. But um, so, you know, I'm not exactly fully winded and uh, there's a certain point uh, part of the inhalation and exhalation, the clearing of the lungs that I feel is important. And that's why it's important to bring your heart rate and uh, you'll, you know, build your, uh, build your breath up and build your lung capacity. It's uh, definitely gave me a pump, definitely gave me a burn. I think that was in part of picking the workouts, but um, no, never mind. Because if I did push-ups, I think I, I know I would still feel the burn. So it's really, uh, maybe it's really just more about your effort, guys. That's a good place to start. I would start, if you started want to start a workout routine, I would start with Tabata. It's nice and quick, it's fast. You don't have any excuse why you can't do seven minutes of a workout. It'll tone you, I know it'll tone you because that pump that I got, like, you don't usually get that kind of pump from doing chylesthetics because you don't have the, you don't have the push, you don't have the, because it's such a short time interval, you just want to try and hang on, where uh, when you're doing advanced calisthenics, you do the move to its almost complete entirety, as perfect as you can, and then you take a rest break, because you're building more strength, where this builds endurance, which is also, you know, beneficial. Um, that's my enough of my rambling. I'm a little bit on workout brain right now. Uh, a little oxygen deprivation or whatever. So you guys get the point. Um, still, I don't really think there's any quick fixes, but if you're gonna pick up a quick fix, if you're gonna try and you know make those small changes, it's not necessarily a quick fix, but maybe it's a, a stepping stone. Let's think of it as a stepping stone from now on, not as a quick fix. So um, take that little bit, maybe build it on top of it, maybe make your Tabatas a little longer, maybe do two a day. It's only 15 minutes. Everyone can afford 15 minutes, right? So think about that and uh, I hope you guys are going to be joining me here on Friday. We're going to get fired up. We're going to show you some motivation. I want you guys to take advantage of the weekend, take advantage of this 30-day challenge. We're getting right after it. And uh, this is Max Fisher here from Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace.